Hi everyone, it's Sam from Made to Surprise and I'm really excited to be sharing my second collection. So this is Super Sliders. So here are the three different mechanisms. So you have a six by six circle, a six by six square and a Z fold five by seven. They are really, really fun. I've just launched on Hachanda and I've done my craft stash or craft world launch. And now I'm launching it on my YouTube channel to be able to share with all of you. I have lots of samples. There's going to be lots of tutorials coming. So let's have a closer look at this really cool collection. Okay, so this is the next collection. It's called Super Sliders. So I guess it's best to start with the main dies first of all. So you have a six by six circle, you have a five by seven rectangle and you have a six by six square. So you get a lot of dies, 20 dies. The elements are the different concepts that they can create. So you can see here, you can create a lot of um, different effects using the dies. So first of all, we have the six by six circle. So when I was designing this one, the idea that I came up with is that you could make your own dressing table or kind of mirror, you know, one of those old style theater mirrors with all of the lights around them. So that was where the idea came from. And then from that, we looked at ways to make it so that you don't just have to have it as a mirror and that you can use it for other things as well. So here's your main six by six mat. And then you have this mechanism that will cut on top, which would just give you that perfect slider mechanism. And you also then have your pull out tab here. And then you have this circle here, which you could have as like a flower effect as well. If you cut it out directly into that, it will give you this element. This is what we're trying to show you here is all the different ways that you can do it. Or you can just have them die cut and then stick that one on top. And then you have this die here, which you can die cut to then give you the bulb, the light bulb effect. One of my favorite things in this are these earrings. I just love them. They've turned out so well. And this shoe is just so, so pretty. And then you've got moi. You've got the lips here, which are really good as well. You've got your lipstick, you've got your diamond with the sparkle, and then you've got all these little hearts and extra embellishments. So yeah, let me just show you the samples using that die set. And then I can talk about the dies and stuff that I've used with them as well as we go through. So look at all of that shine. Now this is also using the papers, which I'll show you later on. You can see that gorgeous foiled paper in the background. So I've just kept the colors with this one very, very simple grey, white and silver. So you can see here there's that lovely big circular die and then I've just die cut that other circle on top and then I've just die cut all the elements just to show you how they look and you can see the earrings here and you'll see them on another sample where I've die cut them twice so actually I've got a gold kind of actual piercing piece and then the, the um, I guess the stud is in the silver colour. Now in the sentiment stamps that I show you there's a pull stamp and then you just pull your tab and it will reveal the happy birthday sentiment and the moi at the top there. And I just love them. Now, you, the idea is that you have the cards displayed like this. However, if the person does decide to close it, they're top folding cards. There's loads of room for you to still be able to stamp and write your message and they will display really nicely that way as well. And I just, I think they look wonderful. And just look, there's the lip sets. They actually, it's two dies when you cut it. So they're two separate pieces, so you can, you know, arrange them how you want to. But I do think they look really, really nice. And then you've got the kiss and everything there. So that's that one. And this is the one making it look like your dressing table. So I've done this all using mirrored card. And you can see here where I've die cut those circles to create the light bulbs. And then this is one of the stamp sets with all of the makeup brushes, the lipstick, the nail varnish. You've got the perfume there. You can see the earrings there where I've done them in the two colours. And I just think they look really nice. And I love the glasses as well. And then again, you've got your pull here at the top. And then this reveals your makeup palette. And this was another thing that I had on my original samples that I sent off, is I designed this makeup palette effect. I just thought it was so in keeping with the way the makeup kind of industry is at the moment. Everybody's got these great big palettes. And uh, yeah, everybody loves some makeup. So I thought it'd be really nice to have a collection which had a lot of those elements in it. I love all the little brushes. Again, you can see the lips there. So I stuck these onto the mirror card so it looks like you've kissed the mirror. And um, I think it's turned out really well. Again, top folding, so if they do want to fold it all in. And then at the top there, I've just uh, used the, the lips again. And it says, you, oh, you don't look a day over fabulous. And I love the sentiments as well. Light makeup action. So it's just all a little bit different, fun. And the, the idea is that you can, you know, the style of card that you can create with this is just endless. I've still got heaps and heaps of just ideas how I want to put the cards together. There's just too many. Um, so these are my samples for now, but you'll definitely see a lot more on the channel. 
This one I adore, I just love that gold glitter. And again, I just used the shoe there and it says on your birthday, I've put some Nouveau drops in for some more texture and then you just pull. You'll also find the pull tabs slightly different on all of them because I'll talk that through when you see all the demos that I do and the other, but it depends where you lay down your mechanism on this piece. So if you, you know, um, come up higher, then it will stick out more. If the card blank size that you've started with is different, it will vary. So this is a shop brought. Uh, well, they say six by six, but it's usually slightly under. Whereas this is an actual six by six and you'll see the pull tab comes down within that. So it will vary, but again, I will talk through that, you know, as and when. And then this one here, you just pull the pull tab. You've got the room to be able to put lots of stuff on here. Some are plain, some I've added extras, but on this one, it says girls just want to have fun. And it's got those lips. And again, I've done a lot of heat embossing through this um, collection with the samples just seems to work really really well and again all folds nice and flat and that's what I like about these some have got the dimension you can use the box envelopes for that but they will fit into your normal envelopes and then this one I love I loved coloring these in and I just think it's wonderful for any bag lover <laughs> um, having all of those bags and then I've kept it again quite plain on the front it's you know self-explanatory what they've got to do just pull it and then it says here happy birthday shopaholic and I just think that's a really fun card. It had some glitter onto here and some shine, you know, you're on like the hardware. You can, you've got stamps and all sorts to decorate all of this as well. You know, there's just so much scope. But um, again, I love that they stand up like that as well. So that's quite a clean and crisp style, just focusing on the stamped images and the coloring, but I think it's turned out really well. Okay, so then moving on to the six by six square. This one here is pretty similar to the circle one. However, it will create this as a square rather than, if I show you back to this one, you see this goes off so that when it lies flat, you don't see the mechanism underneath. So that's the difference between them and obviously the elements. So this one here has a focus on the Polaroid photo style. So you'll see here, you can create this Polaroid. However, you don't have to have that. You can keep the mats and layers and just have it as a nice kind of background and then build up on top of that. You've got some glasses, you've got the XOXO, you've got the nail polish and the splats, and then you've got a little crown, you've got a blusher palette, you've got a little heart star, then you've got like a, a row of stars there and then the love. And I've done some stitched detail on these ones as well. So you get 21 dies, 25 elements. Okay, so these are some of the samples that I've made. This is me on the front goofing around with some comical glasses on holiday. And, and I thought it would work really well as a Polaroid photo. So I've just die cut the glasses there a few times just to give them some dimension. So it's a really nice embellishment now. And I've used some glossy accents. I've used the XOXO and it says, hello, beautiful. Again, pull the top. I've used the papers here from the paper pad, which is that lovely geode effect. And then you just pull and it says smart and sassy. I think it's really nice. I've used a brushed kind of gold cardstock there, so it's got a little bit of shine. And I just stamped that using some stays on, so it would obviously stay on there and not rub off. And again, top folding, so it will stand up as well, because I think it's quite a nice card, even, you know, open like that. So yeah, really, really fun. And then this one here is using it without the you know, all those elements, I'm just using it as the square and I've just stuck directly onto the front kind of um, mountain fold. So I've used all the shoes here and when you pull it open, it says, life is short, buy the shoes. And then on your special day, got a little bit of silver card around there for the border and there is silver running through the cardstock. Can you see there, it catches the light. It's a really nice um, paper, that one. Okay, so that's an idea. So you don't ha you don't always have to uh, use any of the elements. You can literally just die cut the mechanism and then just stick your you know stamps or your dies straight onto there. And then here's another one. This is my friend Catherine who didn't mind featuring. <laughs> and this one says glamorous friend. And again, just pull the tab and it says I love you as much as lipstick. And that's a lot. And on the lipstick there, on the tops of them, can you see them catching in the light? I've just added some glossy accents again. It's those little details I think really bring it all together and um, just give that person something to look at. And uh, yeah, I think they've turned out really well and it just says happy birthday on the top there. But again, you've got all the space inside, you know, to write some more. Whatever you stick down on here, I've put on some foam pads so that this can slide underneath and it doesn't kind of, you know, pucker or kind of, um, you know, catch on any of it. And then here's another one, just using the square. So I've not used the Polaroid on this one, but you also get these stitched details here and you can see them 
you know, really well when you use a plain cardstock or a mirrored. You can see that stitch detail all around there. You get all your finger pull dies as well, which are here. So they're in there. And again, I've just used some heat embossing with the lovely shoes there. These are the stars, the love, and then again, just pull. And this one says, fabulous friend, life is short by the shoes. Again, I think it looks really, really nice. Those are some of the samples that's using the six by six square die set. And this is the five by seven. So this is the rectangle and zigzag. So you have the option to use the zigzags or use the plain rectangles or use both. There's actually a lot of different ways that you can put this one together because there are so many mats and layers. And you can see here the idea to do the makeup palette. So you get 18 dies, 66 elements. You've got glamour, you've got beautiful there. And then you've got another, this is an eyeshadow one. You've got a little blush brush. You've got some perfume bottles, those dropped earrings, and then there's the mechanism. The finger pull for this one is actually a V-shape, so it will keep that um, effect, but it does look nice even when you die cut it onto the plane as well. So let me show you the inspiration using these ones. So here is the makeup palette. Now you could, if you wanted to, do the dies actually so that they are on the reveal part, but what I would say is be careful because when you slide it back down you don't want it to catch on anything so it may be worthwhile that you would put the side pieces here on some foam so it's slightly lifted so that the mechanism can slide easily but I do like it on the top here so you can see that I've die cut them in all different coloured glitter cards um, and I think it's turned out really well to give the uh, you know the look of some glittery eyeshadows and then I've got the eyeshadow little palette there and then I've done the blusher brush using some holographic card and then again die cut it in some black but you can see all the different mats and layers here so it's entirely up to you you know in kind of what order you do this and then just behind here you've got your pull and then it says be your own kind of beautiful in gold embossing powder and then on the top there you can see it says glamour and that's that die cut so you know the die cuts will stick directly on and go under you can see there that one doesn't catch as it goes in so you'd have to play around with it you could you know have you can pull these back really far so you can easily fit the palette there but like i said you may just have to lift it up on some foam but i've got it on the top there and i think it looks really nice and then that just all slides down again i've put some foam there so that that will slide underneath and the whole thing goes flat and again, top folding, so it all stands up. But I think the effect it gives is really, really good. And then this one here, I love the glasses. They are just so much fun. I really do enjoy it, love these ones. And then you've got the dropped earrings there. I've got the perfume bottles. So you can see that V for the finger pull, how it looks when you pop it in here. And again, so this one's slightly different the way I've put it on. So if you see, you look on this one here, you can see it just the way this is bigger, but I've used the smaller one on the front and so that therefore you can see the V comes down further and again you just pull and then this one says beautiful and oh you don't look a day over fabulous isn't that good really really great and again love those papers with that silver striped foiling looks really really nice and then it all just slides back down and again top folding and then this one here so this, this is really I kept it very very plain on the top I've just used the the smaller Again, the same size one there, but I've kept it in the same pattern paper. And then you've just got your pull. And I've actually done this, cut it using the largest rectangle. So that is the actual card. It's, you know, it's covering the whole piece there. Whereas you'll see these ones have mats and layers on them. This one doesn't. So again, you just pull. And this one says, beautiful. And then happy birthday. And it's just got those lovely shoes on the front there. So you don't have to have mats and layers, you can just have one mat and that is the actual card blank. And you can see there how the finger pull looks when you just cut it into the normal straight side rather than the zigzag. But I think it's turned out really nice. I love the gold against the black. I think it looks really quite chic and stylish. Those are the samples using that die set. And now let me show you some other cards and I can talk more about the stamps and dies and show you the boards that I've made. Okay, so these are the boards that I put together for the show. So it just you can see here really clearly, if I do this one first actually, there's all of the sentiments that you get. So if I bring this one in here, so you get 24. Look, there's no glare there from the lamp, there we go. Um, you've got special day, shopaholic, you've got on your, so you can then add it to birthday, um, on your special day, be as bold as your lipstick, lights makeup action i like that one smart and sassy kindness is always in fashion girls just want to have fun oh you don't look a day over fabulous and then you've got two a so you can have 
to a best friend, or you probably wouldn't maybe say that, but you put to a fabulous friend, to a glamorous friend, and then there's the pull. You've got Life is Short by the Shoes. I like this one, Never Come Between a Girl and Her Makeup. Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful. Hello Fabulous, Let's Make Up. That's really good. Be the Girl Who Decided to Go For It. Um, this one I love as well. I love you as much as lipstick and that's a lot. And there's a few others if I've missed them there as well. So it's a really good stamp set. There's so many sentiments. I love sentiments. I always say you can never have enough sentiments because there will always be that one that perfectly fit, you know, where you want it to go on that card. So yeah, I think they've they've come together really well. I love the mix of the fonts and um, I just think they're a little bit different. So that's the Let's Hear It For The Girls Sentiments A5 stamp set. And this is the shoes and bags. So you've seen them in some of those samples, but that's the ones that you actually get and how they look. So the trainers, I think, look really good there, or the, the um, high tops. The bags, you've got that one, you've got this one, and then the backpack, you've got those shoes, you've got some flat pumps, and then you've got the shopping bag there, and you can stamp the Let's Go Shopping in the center. You've got the diamond and the bow, and that is using this die set here. So you get nine dies. So that's how big they look. It's never obviously the size on there. They're really nice substantial sizes. And then here is the stamps. So depending whether you have your own digital cutting machines, you know, you won't have the need for the dies, but that's how the stamps look. And if you're someone that likes to do journaling and, and just stamping in general, then, you know, you can just buy those on their own. I think it's a really nice collection. I'm really pleased with how it's come together. They're really easy to colour as well. There's lots of blank areas, so you really see the colours that you want to use. You know, you can see there the green and just all the detail and everything. So yeah, that's the shoes and bags stamp and die set. And then this is the makeup die set. So again, these I just think are amazing. Love the little compacts there with the mirror. You've got your mascara and your mascara brush. You've got your little perfume bottles here and then you have these stamps are all different. So you've got the number six, you've got Madame and there's some others which I'll show you in a moment. And then you've got your lipstick, your nail polish, your lips and then your brushes. And then I like this one here as well which is just the stack of the fashion books with the heels and again perfume and lipstick on there. And you've even got your little eyeshadow brush there as well. And that's using this die set. So you get 13 dies in this one and then there's the stamps. So this is what I mean, there's loads more in this one. So you have Coco, you have Madame, you have Chatem, you've got Flawless, you've got the XOXO, you've got Love, you've got the little kind of, um, it's, it looks like you've sprayed the bottle so that can go around the top here. You have this as well, which you can put on the top of the bottles so you can change the look of the bottle. You've got the lips. I um, know oh I did do them because they've got the dye, sorry. Then you've got, these are for your palettes. So you can stamp it if you don't want to colour. So these are your blank, just your frames. So if you want to colour them all, which is what I've done on this one here. So this actually, I've used pretty much everything that I'm showing you here on this card. But this has been stamped using this one here so I was able to color them how I wanted them if you want to if you don't want to color you've got the same again here but you can just stamp them directly onto your ink pad and then stamp them down so they're colored for you these here these are like just little details so again you can have that as a little palette or you could just have them going along the side here it's entirely up to you so that was the you know the idea and how they look and then you can see there the brush and everything how it all looks together but that is the makeup stamp and die set Okay, so let's have a closer look at the paper pads. These are the 8x8 pads. You've got the candy and the geodes. I love these. They're just, oh, they've got foiling throughout and they're just beautiful. So with the candy here, you get, it's 8x8. You get six printed designs, six times two plain designs, six foil designs. There's 24 sheets in total and it's 180 GSM. And you've got silver, gold and rose gold foiling running throughout this, throughout this pad. So let's have a little look. So you've got some plain ones here. So you get two. Then you've got the stripe. And then you've got the stripe with the rose gold. Isn't that gorgeous? Then you have the plain, another one. And then you have this kind of brush stroke. And then you have the foiling, and that's in the gold. Then you've got this in the plain. I love that, you're a nice fresh color. And then the stripe. And then you have the stripe in the rose gold with that green, it was really nice. Then you have the blue two plain, the stripe, and then in the gold. And then you have this kind of gray, the stripe, and then the silver. I love that one, it's really nice. And then this one is, it's like an off-white, it's a very, very light gray. It does look really nice, it gives, it's, it's a really sophisticated look when it's against white cardstock. And then you have the brush stroke, and then with the silver, 
and it's just gorgeous absolutely love that one so that's the candy paper pad and then and this one here is the geo so this is again eight by eight so you've got three each of six printed designs six foil designs 24 sheets 180 gsm so we'll start from the back so there's a lot of marble effects through this as well so you've got this beautiful peach and red marble paper and then you have so you've got three there and then this one here has the foiling so you can see that running throughout it's really nice when it hits the light then you have the blue marble so you've got three sheets and then you have the silver that runs throughout there and this one here i love this one really nice the black and white and three of those and then this one here you have the rose gold flex throughout there we go you can just see when it catches the light you can see them all there glistening along the top it's really pretty then you have this one look at that oh, pink and aqua together it's just yum 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 <laughs> three of them and then again this one here has the flex you can just see there we go see them all hitting the light really really pretty and then this one oh i just i love these absolutely love these ones i think they look so nice and you could you know this could also be like the galaxy or like an angry night sky or something and you can have them that way as well you know it's up to you so again you get three of that one there it's the kind of paper you just want to rub <laughs> look at or stroke look at it with the gold when that hits oh look at that it's just so nice so good i love these ones and then you have the same one with the purple there so even without the foiling i think they look really nice and you could probably i'm going to try maybe putting like some glossy accents running along and then when that hits the light it could like reflect it and give it some shine i think that would look really nice if you're unsure what i mean when i mention glossy accents this is what i'm talking about and it's just really really good stuff and then that one on the top and you can see It's almost like when you hit it against the, when it's hit when it hits against the light there, it's like a shot of electricity kind of shooting across the paper. You know what I mean, like that. I just think it's brilliant. I love this. So those are the two new paper pads, and um, you'll see them used throughout the samples, and I'll be sharing them a lot more in future tutorials. And then lastly, I've just got a few more cards here, just showing some of the stamps and just ways to use, you know, some of the products here without using the mechanism. You don't always have to use that. The stamps are lovely just using you know your ink pads and then you can do some coloring if you want i've got this one here which is just using all of those makeup stamps and i've covered them all with glossy accents really quick and easy card it was just using black ink i used a little bit of pink just to you know lift it a little and i've just popped it on some foam with a little black border very very quick to do and just says never come between a girl and her makeup and then you can pop a little happy birthday you know in the middle there um i think it's come together really well then I've got this one here using the glasses. These are on your, these are the four by eight. These are the DL size cards. And um, again, I've just cut those glasses a few times, put glossy accents around them. And it says, ha um, happy birthday, glamorous friend. This one here I really like. I've just used that same bag stamp and I've just stamped it multiple times and then just kept with three colors. And then here I've just used a little bit of my white embossing powder against the black card there. A little bit of foam and again very quick card to do these are great ones to do as well because you can just stamp a load of them during the day and then you can sit down in the evening and color them in because these are all just single layered um, cards you know there's apart from the sentiment and um, they're great to just keep in your stash so you've got them at hand and then this one here i just stamped the nail polish bottles in all different colors and then just die cut them and then i just stuck them all down and then i went around and just trimmed off all the excess Think it's really effective i love how that one's come together and again i just use the black with the sentiments heat embossed with some white embossing powder and then that same kind of um, effect using the lipstick and that one just says be as bold as your lipstick again just a little matte and layer very simple but really i think very effective cards and you know they will look lovely on someone's mantle they're so colorful and bright so it was just to give you a little bit more inspiration and just to really see how those stamps look on their own you don't have to have them built up with everything 
Okay, so that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed the samples and what I've got to share today. I really have enjoyed putting this collection together. I think it's a little bit different and hopefully something that you will like and enjoy using. Um, as always, I will try and link as much as of this as I can. In terms of all of the actual product, I can do that, but you know, like the glitter card, the Nouveau drops, the embossing powders, the colours that I've used to, you know, colour in the images and the inks that I've used, I'll try and link all of that as well, just so that you've got it there so you can check it out yourself. Look out for future videos, for the Facebook Live, for the Craft Stash launch, I'll link all of those things below as well in case you've missed any of them. And yeah, be sure to subscribe if you have because you'll get to see me you know using all of this lovely product and making some great cards whether it's during a Facebook live or as a YouTube tutorial and I'm also going to show you how you can combine all of this with the wiper dies as well that I've made because that's one of the things that I did want to stress and make sure you know it was able was that everything I make the collections will all work together so you can pull out your wiper mechanism and you can use it with these stamps and dies and vice versa so thank you for watching and uh, I'll be back very soon with some fun tutorials Bye.